Hi, welcome to the Cantilever project. This is Mr. Kresselp again, and in this project, I'm going to be, sh or in this PowerPoint, I'm going to be showing you about a um, engineering structure called the Cantilever, and also introducing um, the the next project that we're going to be working on. Um, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I want you to do is I'm going to show you some photos. I would like you to tell me, you know, what do these photos have in common? Um, so just let me show you a few photos here. This would be the first photo. And what I'm asking you to look at would be the structure right up here, of course. Um, second photo, this is a diving board. And the next one here is just uh, you know a rock um, with all these people hanging off of it or standing on it. So my question to you is, what do all these photos have in common? Now the answer is that they're all cantilevers. Now what is a cantilever? Um, a cantilever is a horizontal member um, fixed at one end and free at the other. Um, so what does that mean? Um, let's, let's keep the definition up here, but let's take a look at some more photos. Here's an example of a cantilever. This is an umbrella, and you can see that it's a this is the horizontal thing that it's talking about, the horizontal member fixed at one end, so it's fixed right here, and free at the other. Here's another example. This is a cantilever shelf which is kind of neat. Um, it's fixed at one end and free at the other and horizontal. Here's another, this is actually an example of a swimming pool at a very rich person's house. Um, and this is the swimming pool right up here. And you can see it's horizontal, fixed at one end and free at the other. Here's the, here's the cantilever project. Um, you'll be given the following materials. I'm going to give you 24 inches of string one full page of newspaper, eight inches of masking tape, and one paper clip. And your task is to build a cantilever that can support the most amount of weight as possible. The cantilever must hold at least, 12, at least one 12 ounce can of soda, but there's, I'd like to entice you to, to have it make hold as much as possible. The team whose cantilever supports the most weight will win. So let me show you some examples of cantilevers um, in AutoCAD Inventor. Um, the first one I'd like to show you is this one right here. Um, this is an example of, um, if you can imagine this wood here being your desk. Um, a lot of times when students do this, the first thing that comes to mind is they'll take some newspaper, which this is supposed to be newspaper here, and they'll maybe roll it up into a ball, and then they'll just put a bunch of tape on top of it in this green um, black right here kind of represents tape. And then we dangle the can of pop from it and let's see what, let's see what happens when we, when we put that um, into a, a stress analysis. So what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm turning this into a bunch of weight and what we end up with here is a lot of stress coming right in this portion, right in this area right here. Now you can imagine that um, a lot of times, you know, if, if you do this over and over again, it's, it's going to break right here or, you know, with the newspaper, um, it'll probably just bend right in half and kind of fall flat over the table. So let's take a look at a different style of cantilever. Um, here's a different type of cantilever that, um, you know, actually isn't that hard to make. Now, this is you know, obviously pretty decorative here. I sort of made a bridge type thing that has a, you know, an area to, you know, for like cars to drive on. But, you know, this basic, I'd like you to look at the, just the basic um, geometry of this. You know, it's just essentially one big triangle with some vertical, uh, you know, pieces coming down. And this represents the weight, of course. And here's our table. Um, let's take a look here what happens when we, when we put a lot of weight on this side. I'm going to run the simulation. And let's view the animation here. And what you can see is, now this is the same amount of weight, but there's not nearly as much stress happening anywhere. You can see that the color is pretty much remaining blue. So you can see that the, the weight is, is really being dispersed amongst all of these vertical beams. Now, what I'd like you to do is I'm going to separate you guys into groups, and you're going to have the rest of the class to work on this project. If you have any questions, of course, you can um, you know, talk with me. But we're going to be working in groups of two, and you have the rest of the class to work on this.